So we're back, and uh, welcome to this third part of the video. Actually, this is a kind of a standalone video, but it goes with all the content that we've talked about in part one and part two of the webinar tonight. Um, one of the questions that gets asked very frequently is, uh, I want to run X schedule on a laptop that's going to sit in my garage, but it's not going to be connected to the internet. I just want to put, I, I don't want my main computer to run X schedule uh, and run my show. I want to be able to play on my computer, but I have a spare. I have an old laptop. I want to run my show on a laptop from my garage. I don't want to use my main computer to run X lights. How do I do that? Uh, and then we'll actually try to do a demo after uh, we get it done. From here, we're going to make sure that we install X lights. Now, make sure whenever you go to xlights.org that you go to the download page and scroll and find the one that you sequence the same X lights version that you sequenced from on the main computer. Most likely, you're using an updated version, but if if you uh, had stopped at a version, you want to use the same version to run your show from. Uh, that way, the, the compatibility between X Schedule and X Lights should be good, and you shouldn't run into any issues whatsoever. On this new computer that you're going to set up and run for your show, the, the most important thing is, is the computer needs to be set up to run your show. And to do that, uh, you can watch this video up here that I'm pointing up to the top of the screen. I don't know, one of those corners. And by all means, check out the video there on setting up the network. And there, I'm not going to do those steps in this video because I want to keep this brief, but basically we're going to go into Windows Network Connections. We're going to click on the Ethernet section. Uh, I'm assuming that you're running a wired network connection from your show. You may be doing this with Wi-Fi. You can do that with the Wi-Fi adapter if that's how you're going to do it. Uh, you then assign it to, a, a, assign your uh, IP, uh, uh, TCP IP version 4 to an IP address uh, that matches your show network IP configuration. And if the network is not set up, the lights won't flash. So make sure you get this set up first. Let's talk specifically about the files necessary. Now, uh, if you didn't watch the previous two videos, the basic things that we really need from X Lights, uh, we need to select the following files. They are your X Lights underscore network.xml file any of your sequence.fseq files, also any MP3 audio files for these FSEQs that you're selecting to do in your show. And then something I didn't add into here was any uh, video files that maybe you're going to play uh, or other MP3 files that you're going to be playing that will be part of the show, maybe not part of a sequence, but it might be part of an after show or before show. Uh, finally, place all of these files onto a thumb drive and save them there. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna roll along and we're gonna go from our main computer, let's say we're using a laptop in your garage, and you're gonna plug that thumb drive into your USB port, uh, and you're going to create a new folder, a new show folder. It doesn't matter what you call this, you can call this X Lights if you want, but you're going to create this new folder. And then from there, you're going to grab all of the X Lights network file, the, the one X Lights network file, you, that's the only file you really need. You need the FSEQ files that are your sequence files, and then you need your MP3 files, and then finally any other files that you plan on playing that you need to have in there as well. You'll need those. Next, we're going to open X Schedule. After you've installed, downloaded, and installed X Lights, X Schedule will be an icon that's on your desktop. You can double click and open it. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on File, Select Show Folder. And you can see that here on the screen. The second thing we'll do is we'll navigate to the saved folder location that you just created. So we're going to look for that file location with all those files that you just slammed in there, your FSEQ files, your MP3s, and your network file. Then after you've selected or found that folder, you want to hit select folder. The next step is you should now see your controllers. This should be your entire controller list. Now, if these show up in green, that means that your network is set up, that X, uh, X Schedule can see those controllers. Now, in this case, this is a screenshot from my main desktop, which there's no controllers, but that is my FSEQ file from my, or that is my network file from my home show. And uh, obviously, it's not going to find it because this computer isn't set up to be on the show. Um, but if it turns green, that means you know you have the network set up correctly. 
the next thing we'll do is we're going to add a playlist. Now, I have another video on YouTube that we did a few weeks ago uh, that is creating playlist in X schedule. We'll go ahead and link up there. By all means, go check out that video if you need more specific information because we're not going to do all of this um, in detail. The next thing we'll do is we're going to click the add a playlist or add an FSEQ, and this is this icon over here, or you can hit add FSEQ plus video or add audio only. The next thing we'll do is we'll click OK. After we've added our uh, sequence or our FSEQ file, just click OK. And that closes and takes you back to X schedule. Now we're going to test the playlist. And in order to test the playlist, we're going to click on the playlist. We're, we're physically going to select it. In this, in this case, I have this test, FS, or this test playlist. Next, what we'll do is we'll click the Play Selected, and that's this button down here. So once this is selected and you hit Play Selected, you'll notice that a green highlight comes up over here. It will, anytime you hit Play Selected, X Lights will play or show the currently playing uh, selection. At this point, you should hear music. Now, if there's no music playing, then we need to go back and do something different in our playlist. So we're going to rewind a little bit. We're going to go back in and we're going to select that playlist, return back to the playlist. We're going to click on the FSEQ that is not playing the MP3, which in this instance would be this one. You would select it. After you've selected it, click the override audio box, which is right here. And then once you do, that activates the audio file browse location. When you sequence a song in X Lights, um, it, it records the original location where it thought the music was saved at. Well, if you've moved to a, to a laptop or a different computer, it's a different file structure. So now we're going to manually tell it, hey, browse to this location. And then all you have to do, click on the Browse button. It'll open up, and you can go search your computer for the exact location where that MP3 is, and then you click OK. And once you found it, once, once you do that, click the OK button, and then go back to the beginning here, select the playlist, hit the Play Selected button, and you should see this play green, and you should now hear some audio working. I'm going to hopefully attempt to do this poorly on my computer here in X Lights, and to do so, uh, I am going to end my PowerPoint presentation. Um, and I'm going to do this simply by creating a brand new file folder. And I'm going to call this uh, uh, X Schedule. So this is literally a file folder just to test X Schedule and to prove to you that it can be done. Not a big deal. It's going to be, it's going to be rather easy. I'm going to bring the icon over here so you can see when we open it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, go in and we'll create this folder called X Schedule Testing. We'll come in and we'll grab uh, right off of my show schedule or my show player, my actual show directory. We'll grab a XML, an XML called RGB Network File. So I'm just going to, whoops, copy that over. And then next I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to find one FSEQ. There's the Ava Max. Whoop. There's Ava Max Christmas Without You. And now we need that MP3. Ava Max. There she is. And there's the MP3. So that's in this folder right here. At least I hope it is. Yep, there it is. It's in that folder. Now we'll open up X Schedule. And as you can see, we had already changed the show directory. We selected the show folder, and it's on X Schedule Testing. That's this, that's this folder right here, X Schedule Testing. And what happened was X Lights found my network file. We'll go ahead and create a new playlist. We'll call this Test. And we'll come down here and add FSEQ. It's going to select, there's the one FSEQ sequence. We'll click OK. And we can hit reset schedules. We can select the schedule, the playlist, and we can hit play. YouTube has a way of not um, of of canceling, uh, of uh, charging you with uh, mute. Just can't buy 
And you might not be able to hear it. Uh, well, you'll be able to hear it on YouTube. But uh, you can see it bouncing up and down, and clearly the MP3 is playing. And if this were on my laptop and my show were connected, this would all be lit up green like a Christmas tree. That's, that's as simple as it is. And all you need to do is just select all your FSEQ files, place them in here. You don't need your RGB effects file. Uh, you just need your network file. You just need all your FSEQs and your MP3s that you're going to play in your show. The other thing um, that's nice about this is, uh, well, unfortunately, it, we, we talked about it earlier uh, during the break that uh, having a service such as Dropbox is nice. It would synchronize if you made a change to something. But uh, you would manually have to change them out in this case. So, uh, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us here tonight with the last section of the PP webinar. Um, I will say, if you have any questions, if you uh, have any questions, feel free to uh, put them in the chat below. Uh, if you haven't done yet, so hit the big red subscribe button down below. If you like the content, make sure you hit the like button. And if you appreciate the content that we produce here consistently at the PPD YouTube channel, as well as the PPD website, consider becoming a monthly sequence club member. It would mean the world to us where you get one monthly sequence brand new to the store each and every month and makes it totally worth it to join. So, guys, that's everything from me here at Pixel Pro Displays. We will catch you next time. Take care.